And that crazy chase tops our show this noon. We are learning that the chase started, as I mentioned, in Utica, the area of M59 and Van Dyke. It involved multiple cars and ended in multiple different cities. Police say that the driver of an SUV was chasing a Ford Fusion. When one person bailed out of the Fusion, that person ended up stealing a police cruiser while police were searching through neighborhoods for other suspects from the other vehicle. This all spiraled out of control. Coco McAvoy is piecing this very complicated morning all together for us with these multiple scenes. Tell us what happened. Good afternoon, Rhonda. That's right. There's multiple scenes out here. We're near one of them near I-94 and 12 Mile Road. That's where the stolen police cruiser crashed this morning. But get this, after that crash, police were going through backyards here trying to find those suspects. And through all of this craziness, a Macomb County Sheriff's vehicle landed in the backyard of a home. A wild chase throughout several cities this morning was an alarming wake up call. So I opened up my door, look outside, see a helicopter. I'm like, oh wow. The high speed chase takes several twists and turns as police keep up with the Ford Fusion until the two people in the Fusion bail out, running in two different directions. One of the guys sticks out like a sore thumb in his bright red pants, running through backyards trying to find a way out. He can't escape the helicopter, though. That just shows you how smart people are sometimes, you know. You're eventually going to get caught, you know, especially with a helicopter. He's eventually caught on the ground, surrounded by police officers. Then his partner in crime gets caught, too. But get this. This scene in Detroit is connected to the scene on I-94 near 12 Mile Road in Roseville because the two guys from the Ford Fusion were with a third guy who ran out during the police chase and stole a Sterling Heights police cruiser. That cruiser ended up crashed on the freeway while a Macomb County Sheriff's Department vehicle ended up in the backyard of a home. It's a crazy police chase that's still being sorted out by police. And we do not yet know how this Macomb County Sheriff's vehicle ended up in the backyard of this home, but the Sterling Heights Police Department is holding a news conference at 1230. We'll be live streaming that on our website, clickondetroit.com. Back to you. Coco, thank you. And also, thankfully, we're not hearing of any serious injuries, which is pretty remarkable.